Ladies and gentlemen, the sun has now found its home in the western sky, and it is Saturday night in Tiger Stadium, home of the LSU Tigers, one of the great venues in college football. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the South Alabama Jaguars, taking on the 13th ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Jaguars about to kick it away and get this season started. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Tigers offense takes the field to start this game off. And here's the veteran, a guy who has been around and is ready to finish his final season with a bang. So nice to have guys like this that have been around the block that know the offense inside and out. Guys I can trust. Leadership, play on the field, all the, all the boxes are checked. Yeah, because he's a leader, too, I think this is a guy the offense looks to to make plays early. So if I'm the quarterback, I'm calling this guy's number a lot early in this game to go make plays. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. That's caught. It's Thomas. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. LSU getting set on first and 10. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll pitch it. Hey, man, man, he's got room. He finally goes out of bounds, but you better check that laundry on the field. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Going to the running game. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. Quick strike complete. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. Hauls it in, looking for space. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. The Jaguars' offense taking the field first chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. The give to the tailback. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. He'll do it himself. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He finds his man. They'll bring him down, but not before he put people in the spin cycle. Here they come, first and ten from the 48. He wants to throw. Feeling some heat. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He found a little opening and got loose. They couldn't stop him in the backfield, so a solid pick up there. From the shotgun, the inside gives. The Jaguars pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. 
They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Low pass to pass. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And big fella up front just won his one-on-one -on -one battle and got to the quarterback. And that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, you're supposed to beat the guy in front of you. And great job by using your hands, getting up, getting by that first initial guy, and then getting to the quarterback. And the hard part a lot of time is getting him on the ground. Nice job by the big lineman. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He's got it inside the 25. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Unleashes one deep. And he was trying to cash in in the end zone in this red zone threat, but it's incomplete. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. Quickly complete. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Smashes through the tackle. So close to that end zone. He can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. Snapped it in the shotgun. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. Now second and goal, and right in the teeth of this noise. And this defense does it again. Back-to-back -back plays for nothing. It'll be third down. The give. Couple of guys there to get him on the ground. So the offense will try to punch it in here on fourth and goal from the one. Trying to surge it in. How about that defense rising up and stopping him short on fourth down? They're backed up first and ten from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Backed up at the 16-yard line, it's first and ten. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Scanning the field. It's Nussmeyer. Complete downfield. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. LSU quick to the line. That's a really nice job holding that pass in. And you think LSU has just been such a breeding ground in recent years for receivers. Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, OBJ, Jarvis Landry. They all have the ability to make a play anywhere on the field. And that's what this guy can do. You can line him up anywhere. He can run routes at all three levels of the secondary. The defense has to know where he is lined up every single play. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost yardage on that last one. It's second and 11. Looking for space. It's Jackson. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Trying to pick up a first down. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. Reeled it in and just made the house call. And this offense gets on the board and the first passing touchdown of the season. And I feel pretty confident saying the first of many. This offense looks like they're in a good rhythm and this passing attack's going to be hard to stop.
He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7 0. Guys, LSU has the lead here. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. South Alabama has it back. The Jaguar offense going to work. A really disappointing end of that last drive, David. Getting stopped on fourth and goal, they'll try to regroup. Yeah, and, I, and I think I'm preaching to my squad right now. Listen, we drove the ball down the field. We didn't just punch it in. Let's put another drive together, Jesse, and this time, let's get some points. You're right, because there were a lot of positives on that last one. They did a lot of things really well. They just got to do a better job finish. Now, after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. And with this place rocking, the crowd forces a false start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Finds the tight end. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Offense set on first down. He'll try to pop the draw. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there. Got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five yard penalty. <laughs> So the offense accepts a penalty, and they'll get a little farther away from their own end zone. Keep it on the ground. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Leaves it with the back. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Using his legs, it's Jackson. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. He'll keep it himself. Picks up the first down. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And now on second down for this offense. They'll run the option. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Now on the option. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. He hurls one deep down the left side. Into double coverage, and he picked it off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover. But they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. The Jaguars offense ready to go back to work. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. 
I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. They've got them penned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Get it out on the screen. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Just trucks through it. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Someone not clear on the snap count. It'll be a false start, and they'll move it false back. Start, 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 start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Motion from the offense. Here's a snap, ready to cut one loose. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And that inside linebacker showing you the speed and the recognition. He saw a gap and saw a crease and a free path to the quarterback, and woo, he took it. We'll see if they can dig one up. It goes forward this time on second down from the 18. Lopez wants to fire. Gets it out quickly. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Better find the air plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Throws to the wideout. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back. Defense that close to an interception. And the Jaguars send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block. It's Dura. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. He just needed a yard on third down, and there just wasn't any room to pick it up. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Takes the easy throw in the flat. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. He wants to pass it on second down. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Lopez to pass. Going to throw it over the top of the D. Snags it down the right side. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. The Jaguars headed quickly to the line. Assault continues. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Soft spot in the middle. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half using his legs to buy some time. 
They get an uprush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. Can't make the connection. The pressure there caused the missed timing. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Snags it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Jaguars. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up for the PAT. Right down the middle. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Georgia Tech pulled one out today on a day they clearly did not have their best. And that's a testament to those rambling red players. That winning gene, I really believe it's a thing. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Back to pass, it's Nussmeyer. Makes the pass. Rolls it in. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. He's gonna pass. Unloads it left. A strike downfield. He'll work his way down to the 28. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. Got it in the middle, it's Taylor. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. So the offense accepts the roughing the passer penalty, and they get a new set of downs. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. He just wisely got rid of that one. The worst thing that can happen to you is to turn it over on first down in the red zone. Dialing up a second down pass play. He caught it, and he will score! Touchdown, LSU! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. Fielded in the end zone. It's Woods. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Now it's second and 10 from the 15. Lopez wants to fire. The throw. This time on target. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And as he throws, that pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it. It'll bring up fourth down. He gets a block. 
He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. Whiteouts all wadded up in a bunch. Trying to find his man on first down. Gets it out fast. They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield. Pick up 10 and the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Makes a connection. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. And that's why this guy's a complete running back. He's good between the tackles, he can pass block, but he can also run routes. And we're not just talking about screens or swing routes. This guy gets vertical down the field, and he can run the route tree. Makes the grab. And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. Just enough time to get off one more snap. Finds his big tight end. And he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. They'll immediately call timeout. And as the first half draws near to a close, here comes the field goal unit. Never a doubt. And the field goal to end the half takes us to halftime. here time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update guys who's got a better seat there in Death Valley than you a captivating game so far the passing game for both sides has been outstanding on point unrelenting they've excelled in the short game the intermediate game and especially on the deep ball all in all a thrilling display of offensive firepower and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime with that said, let's send it back to the guys in Baton Rouge. The Tigers will boot it away to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. South Alabama has it back. The Jaguar offense going to work. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Let's it fly on the move. He fires back across the field, and it's intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. So you come out of the locker room for the second half, and right away, you throw a pick. Bad news, too, because you go into the locker room, and you sort of regroup, and you start thinking about how you're going to attack this defense, and what adjustments you're going to make. You feel like you've got a good plan running out of the locker room, and then to throw a pick right away, man, that is a gut punch. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it's the play caller right now, just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. On the option. He'll toss it. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! 
The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Jaguars offense ready to go back to work. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Here's the handoff. He'll push his way out to the 38, pick up of three. Got three on first down at second and seven. The give to the back. Fighting off the defender. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, South Alabama! Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, but they're still down 24-14. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Air Force is delivering an all-out assault offensively today, hanging points all over the wild blue yonder. They're up by 18 over Oregon State. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Right back to the well. He'll push his way out to the 38, pick up a three. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. And the quarterback is snowed under. The defense was in the dime package. They didn't have to send an extra rusher. The big fellas up front took care of that. Yeah, and all dime means is I'm bringing an extra fast guy on the field and taking an extra fat guy off the field. But listen, the fat guys still get home. Isn't that beautiful? The big athletic defensive line still does a great job getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. Makes the catch, and now looking for just a little bit of daylight. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Give to the running back. 
Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. The Jaguars will line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. On the return, it's Durham. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Can they catch him? So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Moving out of the pocket. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. And the Jaguars getting set on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Got his man. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Lopez to pass. Unloads to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Third down and this crowd will pull out a vocal cord to help this defense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag on the field. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Got him downfield. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. The Jaguars are flying down the field. A little too anxious along that offensive line. That'll be a false start. False start. start. Oh, oh, oh. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Running back searching for a hole. Knocked off his feet, but not before he picks up six yards down to the ten. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Got his man quickly. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. The sweet feet buy a little time. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And this one splits the uprights. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and try his field goal team out there, and his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Guys, LSU has the lead here. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll pick up the first down as he gets it out to the 27-yard line. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give is to Williams. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. 
Didn't get much on first down in second and nine. Going to the ground. Can't get him to the ground. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? Got a man. It's Thomas. At the 40. There he goes. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. LSU right back to the line. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation. Looking for the end zone. Here's an interception. Oh, did they need that turnover? Let's go. Talk about leaving the door open. Yes, please. You think they might run the clock out, run the football consistently? No, sir. They put it in the air. We forced the interception. Great job by the defense. When they needed it the most, they came through. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. They go to the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Heaves it on the run. Makes the catch down the right side. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day. So, been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen. He's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They piece together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. Moving away from pressure. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. This offense has a second down play. Grabbed behind the line. It's Ivory. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Jaguars! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. You gotta find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. Getting set for the point after. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Air Force has put on a majestic performance today, jumping out to an early lead and building on it from there. And now we have ourselves a blowout. They're up by 25 over Oregon State. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. He now has 106 yards rushing, and he has busted the century mark in this season opener. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. They'll give it to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Some early movement along the offensive line, and they'll walk it back. Full start. Full start. Full start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Second down coming up. 
on the option. Now the toss. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down, his third and long from the 45. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Lopez wants to fire. Finds his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Hey, Cruz, 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 defense. Defense. Contact in the neutral zone leads to that penalty. Good news for the offense. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And here comes the offense on second down. Trying to move them on the counter. Tackle is made after the first down. The Jaguars are on the move. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Using the quick game. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And it's incomplete on third down. And the Jaguars will punt it away on fourth down. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. The clock stopped. Two minutes left to play in this one. Looking everywhere for room to run, but really good coverage, and he'll step out of bounds. Grabbed over the middle. It's Taylor. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. I bet it felt good to hit that quarterback late until you got an earful from the coach and cost your defense 15. Wants to throw on first down. Got a man. It's Taylor. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find the rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here. All the way down at the 33-yard line. It's first and 10. They'll go to the ground. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Looking for a man. It's Nussmeyer. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense declines and stands on the result of the play. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And with just over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Well, the offense and special teams did their job right here late in the fourth quarter. They put themselves now in position to win this game. It all comes down to the defense. Can they deliver? If they get the stop, they win this game. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. 
Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Alabama has it back. The Jaguar offense going to work. Off the play fake on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. On third down, going up top. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave a little bit of everything on that one. We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the brain trust will go to work. And the offense is content with where it is. They'll take a knee. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the quarterback takes a knee. It came down to the final quarter. Clutch plays, guys delivered, and they get the close win. Yeah, Reese, big-time players make big plays in big games, and that's what happened in this circumstance. As a coaching staff, David, you love this. You know that you have confidence in your guys to go out and be able to execute when it matters the most. Correct, and you don't know until the games, right? You don't know when those moments present themselves. How are they going to handle it? Great job handling the close game, executing down the stretch like they needed to. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.